Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods in GTA 5. So I've recently reinstalled my GTA 5. So I have no mods in my folder. It's a fresh new install. And I'm going to be making this video to show you guys exactly what I do to install mods within my GTA 5. So the first thing that we need to do is download the pre-requirements necessary to install the mods. The first one is OpenIV. You're going to go to Google and type in Open iv and you're going to go to the first link which is right here once you're on the page you're going to go ahead and click the download now you should see open iv and the version the current version of open iv click on it and save it in a folder i'm going to be saving it in my downloads folder now once that is done we need to download the other pre-requirements so we're going to open up another browser or another tab and go to gta 5 mods we're going to go to the first link, which is gta5mods.com. Once you're on the site, you're going to go ahead and click search and you're going to type in script. Now there are two things that we need to download, script hook v and community script hook v. So we're going to go ahead and open this in new tab and open this one in new tab as well. So the first one is a script hook v plus native trainer. You're going to go down to where you see the all version and then right here it says current. So this is the current version. You're going to click on the download. You're going to click downloads and you're going to save it inside of your downloads folder or wherever you save it sometimes it's going to ask you if you want to keep it make sure you click keep or it won't download once that is done we're going to download community script v.net again go down to all versions and then current and click download so once it opens up it's going to go to the github for the script v.net you're going to look on your right side where you see releases then you're going to see latest you're going to click on it Scroll down to the bottom where you see the zip file, you're going to click the zip. Again, you're going to save it in the folder which you have already saved the rest of the files. The next thing that we need to download is the menu mod which is going to allow us to spawn in cars and do different things. We're going to go ahead and type in menu o. You're going to see menu o PC single player trainer mod, you're going to click on it and go down to where you see current version, click. It's going to open up the GitHub again. Look on your right side. You see latest. Click. And then scroll down to the bottom. You see the zip file. You're going to save it in your downloads. And the final thing that we need to download is a mod to install. I'm going to be installing a car mod. So we're going to go back to GTA 5 mods and then go to Vico. And I'm going to be selecting them by most downloaded. And I'm going to download something that is an add on car. So I'm going to be choosing this 2018 Honda Civic Type R. So we're going to click on it. Then you're going to scroll down again to where you see the latest version. I'm going to download it. Click the download again. And we're going to save it inside of our downloads. So with everything downloaded, you should have five different files. You should have OpenIV, ScriptUpV, ScriptUpV.net, Menu OSP, and the mod that you're going to install, which is the car mod. So what we need to do now is extract our files. You should have WinWar or 7-Zip to extract the contents of the zip file. I'm going to select all of them, right click, I'm going to go to show more and then use my 7-Zip and I'm going to go down to extract to with a slash and it's going to create folders for each of these. As you can see right here, all four of them has been extracted. I'm going to go ahead and delete the zip files and I only have the folders. We're going to first install the OpenIV, so we're going to double click on it. It's very easy to install. All you need to do is follow along with the prompt. We're going to accept, continue, and then continue. And it's going to ask us to download something. We're going to go ahead and download it. As you can see, there is a icon that has popped up on my screen. I'm going to close and then I'm going to double click on the icon or the shortcut. Next, we're going to select GTA 5 Windows. Now we need to locate the main game directory of our GTA. I'm using the one on Steam. If you have the one on Steam, Rockstar or Epic, all you need to do is locate where you have the GTA 5 EXE. So I'm using the one on Steam. So I'm going to go to Steam, right click on GTA 5, go to manage and browse local files. So this is my main game directory where I have the GTA 5 EXE. So to get this into OpenIV, what you need to do is go to the bar at the top, click on it, make sure that everything is highlighted, copy it, and then go back to OpenIV. Once you're here in OpenIV, you're going to click Browse. Then in the top part, you're going to click in it. 
you're going to delete what's there and then control V and press enter. Once you do that, it's going to locate the main game directory for GTA in this folder. Then you're going to go ahead and select folder. If it found the GTA 5 VXE, you'll see successful. As you can see, it found it. And that's what we want. Next, go ahead and continue. Continue. So once it's finished, it's going to open up OpenIV. And this is our GTA 5 main folder. As you can see, the GTA 5 VXE is right here. First thing that we need to do is go to edit mode and enable. Then once you do that, if it's your first time installing OpenIV, you're going to see install plugins for GTA. You're going to go ahead and click the ASI manager, and then you're going to install the ASI loader, the OpenIV.ASI, and it's going to ask you to create a mods folder. You should create this because you don't want to mess up your official GTA 5 files. So you're going to go ahead and yes, create the mod folders and also install the camera. So if you were looking, there wasn't a mod folder right here, but because of the ASI manager, it installed it right here. If you want to find the ASI loader, go to this little check mark and you're going to see the ASI manager right here. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and go to our GTA 5 folder. So again, right click on GTA 5, manage and browse local files. Now inside of here, you're going to see that we have the mods folder, which is right here that was just created in OpenIV. What you need to do is you're going to copy your updates right here, copy it, and then go into your mods folder and you're going to paste it right here. The reason why we want to do this is because we don't want to corrupt our original GTA 5 files. So if something goes wrong and a mod makes the game unplayable, we can simply go ahead and delete this mod folder with the update and then we can play GTA 5 normally. So I'm going to wait until this is finished and then I'm going to continue with the installation of the mods in GTA 5. Now that you've made a copy of your update folder, what we're going to be doing is installing the files that we downloaded. So we're going to go back to the main game directory for GTA and then we're going to go to our downloaded folder where we have the files that we downloaded. On the right side is the GTA 5 folders. On the left side is the download folders with the stuff that we downloaded. So the first one that we want to install is Scriptook V. We're gonna go into the folder, then go into bin, and you're gonna copy the DLL files. Not the native trainer, only the Scriptook V.DLL and this one right here. You're gonna copy them into the main game directory. Once you're inside, they're gonna be like this. Next, we're gonna go to the other ones which is the script to v.net. You're going to copy everything except for the text files. And you're going to copy them into the main game directory. Next, we're going to install the menu O. So you're going to go into it and then you're going to see two files, a folder and a ASI file. You're going to copy both of them and you're going to copy them into the main game directory. So now that we've installed all of the pre-requirements necessary for modding in GTA 5, what we need to do now is to install a mod. I decided to go with the 2018 Honda Civic, but for some reason that one wasn't working, so I had to get another one. So I went ahead and I got a 2015 Honda Civic. So what we're going to do is go into the folder. Now inside of this folder, this is what we're going to be using to install the car. So once we have that highlighted, we're going to go ahead and go to OpenIV. We're going to go to Mods, Updates, X64, and then DLC Pack. So we're going to copy the folder that we just found inside of the DLC packs. So again, we're going to go over here and we're going to copy this folder, which is the car into the DLC pack. And the only way that you can copy stuff inside of the OpenIV is that you have to make sure that editing mode is enabled. If it's not enabled, then you won't be able to copy anything. Once you have the car copied here, you're going to go back to updates. You're going to go down to update.rpf, then go into commons, then data. And then you're going to look for DLC list.xml. You're going to right click and go to edit. You're going to scroll down to the bottom. You're going to copy the last line of code. You're going to make a space, press enter to make a space right here. You're going to paste it. And then you're going to remove all of this name between these two slashes. Then you're going to rename it with the car's name. So simply right click go to rename copy and then you're going to paste it right between the slashes and then you're going to save and now we can go ahead and launch gta 5. 
So to spawn the car, first you need to do is open up the menu. You're going to press F8 to open the menu. Then you're going to go down to where you see vehicle options, then go to vehicle spawner. And then you're going to go down to the last part, which says input model. Now we know the model of our car, which is the F K2. And then you're going to press enter. And once you do that, you're going to spawn into your car. Now there is a way to find the car in the options. As you can see, we have a lot of different cars that we can actually spawn in. But I don't know where it is exactly because this is a modded car. So the easiest way is to use the install by model. And that's how you do it, guys. That's how you mod GTA 5. Now you can install pretty much any add-on cars that are on GTA5mod.com. So if this video was helpful in any way, please leave a like on the video. And consider subscribing to the channel for future content. My name is Sloppy and I'll see you in the next one.